Good evening, my fellow Singaporeans. In the last elections, Mr Lee Shenlong asked voters to trust the PAP and promised that the government will work to lessen the burden of our cost of living. He has not kept his promise. He has increased our cost of living by raising water prices, town council fees, healthcare costs, electricity rates, bus fares, school fees, you name it. Soon he will raise the GST. He has brought in even more foreign workers to compete with us for our jobs. The future for Singaporeans, young and old, are looking increasingly bleak. Trust the PAP? Trust doesn't come from what you say, it comes from what you do. Worse, we were told that our prices of our flats would never fall. But now the PAP admits that our flats will decline in value until they become worthless at the end of the 99-year lease. The ministers have little to worry about. They leverage themselves with astronomical salaries. PM Lee collects about $200,000 a month. Even the junior entry-level ministers are paid $100,000 a month. How long do we average Singaporeans have to work to earn that amount? Now, the SDP is committed to changing all this by building a future of promise and hope for Singapore. We do this because we are committed to our beliefs. We, are, we have drawn up an alternative vision for Singapore, crystallised in our four yes, one no campaign. Yes, number one, suspend the GST until end 2021. Yes, number two, introduce a retrenchment benefit scheme for retrenched workers. Yes, number three, provide a $500 monthly income for the elderly. Yes, number four, to put the people first. And the one no is to say no to a 10 million population. Now, due to time constraints, I can't go into detail about our proposals, but please tune into our speeches online on Facebook and YouTube, and we'll explain how we're going to push for these policies and how we're going to pay for them. Please join us then. Now, through the decades, the SDP has never wavered in our commitment to speak up for you. And to us, politics is not about self-glorification. Neither is it about enriching ourselves. Rather, it is about speaking up for you, our fellow citizens. And we do this by striving to be the kind of opposition that you've told us that you want. Competent, constructive and compassionate. A responsible opposition that does its homework. One that criticises the PAP when it is warranted, but gives credit when credit is due. It is with this spirit that we continue to serve this country and serve it with pride and humility. It is in this spirit that we invite you, dear Singaporeans, to build a brighter and more hopeful tomorrow with us. Thank you and good night.